everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, uh, yesterday we had another school shooting. I think it was somewhere around the 79th since the Handy Hook, Sandy Hook massacre. And that wasn't that long ago. 79 school shootings since then. The shooter is described as a, a good kid by those who knew him. Nobody expected him to shoot up the school. He wasn't a loner or a nerd. He was a, a wrestler and a football player, an athlete, a popular kid who'd been chosen to be the prom prince. So the idea that if we watch and keep an eye on the mentally ill and the loners and the weirdos, that we'll be able to stop these kind of things from happening, that's pure bullshit. It's not necessarily the loners and the weirdos that do that. Anybody can. The, the one thing that we can do is we can limit the damage. We can limit the damage the most easy, obvious, and practical way is by limiting the size of magazines. Uh, the guy who shot up the school yesterday, his gun jammed. And so a lot of students were able to get away from him while he was trying to fix the jam. And every time a shooter has to stop shooting to reload, that gives people a chance to save their lives. But somehow those lives are not precious. They're not as precious as the convenience of a gun nut that he doesn't want to take the time to reload. Of course, maybe it's because they're planning on killing as many people as possible anyway. So, every time this is proposed to limit the size of magazines, the gun nuts act like bitches. They go fucking crazy and hysterical and you'd think that they were all going through menopause. And the thing they say is that it would be penalizing responsible gun owners. Let me tell you something. <laughs> These responsible gun owners they're talking about, there ain't that many of them. The American Pediatric Association did a survey. 60% of, of gun owners, which is the majority, 60% of gun owners with children, the majority of gun owners who have children in their house don't lock up their guns. These guys have children in the house, but the most common place for their gun is in an unlocked drawer or sometimes just leaning against the wall. So if they're that irresponsible, imagine how people are who don't have children in the house. I'll tell you this, one of the most commonly reported items stolen in the United States is a gun. And the people who uh, have their gun stolen, they don't give it a second thought. They don't think to themselves, boy, if now a, a criminal has my gun. Somebody we know is a criminal because he stole my gun. Now he has a gun. And if he kills somebody, it's my fault because I was lazy and careless. No, they, they don't even think about that. They just go get another gun. In all these school shootings, when a student is involved, the gun is usually their parents' gun. That's where this kid got his gun yesterday. It was, it was his parents. So, if you think that I'm bullshitting or, to, or exaggerating when I'm talking about these so-called responsible gun owners, just go to Arizona. Go to a gun show. Don't bother going inside just park your car and hang out in the parking lot and watch responsible gun owners coming out of the gun show with their newly acquired guns and selling them 
in the parking lot to people they don't even know. Responsible gun owners. Thanks for listening.